There's no doubt that the tech market is pretty tough right now, especially for career changes trying to transition into tech. I mean, you've probably seen tons of job descriptions asking for years of experience, even for entry level roles. So what the hell can you even do about it to differentiate yourself? Well, one thing I can tell you for sure is that the answer is not projects. But what I also want to break down is three better ways that any career changer or tech beginner can build real experience without having a formal job. Look, as someone who broke into tech, themselves, has worked in this industry for multiple years, and has also helped dozens of other beginners transition into this field. I actually find it very annoying every time one of those videos pop up with titles like this one coding project will get you hired or build this coding project to break into tech because it paints building projects as this magic ticket to breaking into this industry and getting hired at a tech company. And it is honestly tempting to think that all you have to do is keep watching these videos and you're eventually going to find that one magic project idea that gets you a job. But honestly, focusing exclusively on projects is one of the stupidest ways to waste your time in my opinion. Because here's the thing, projects are great for learning. They help you understand new concepts, practice skills, and overall build your skills up as a programmer. But when it comes to getting a job, that is a whole different story. Look, I'll make this easier to understand for you by giving you an analogy that everybody can understand. Imagine you needed heart surgery and you needed a doctor. And I come to you and I say, hey, I went to medical school and I've done three simulations of heart surgery on a computer in a controlled environment. Let me operate on your heart. If I said that to you, would you let me operate on your heart? Probably not. And I personally wouldn't too. The same concept applies when a company is hiring for developers. Now, obviously coding isn't life or death like heart surgery, but then again, there is the risk of millions, if not billions of users being affected if software engineers and developers don't do their job correctly and the software is not properly built. For example, the Yahoo data leak in 2013, where almost 3 billion user accounts had their personal information leaked because software was not built correctly. So because companies don't want to hire junior engineers just to see them taking down the entire product, they usually look for people who have experience working on real life production code, dealing with real users and working on real commercial projects. Not just a to-do app or a calculator app you built for the sole purpose, of putting on your resume. But now the question is, if building projects isn't enough to get you hired and companies are looking for developers who already have experience, how the hell are you even supposed to get that experience to transition into this field? And that's the whole reason why I made this video. What I wanna teach you now is three strategies I use to get past this problem and build experience without actually having a formal job that allowed me to leave my dead end warehouse job and transition into the tech industry in under six months. And that I've also taught to dozens of my students to help them transition into tech in a matter of months and land six figure roles. So jumping straight in here, the first way that I got past this sort of experience paradox, if we can call it that, is by doing what I call virtual internships. So if you go to Google and you search for coding virtual internships, you're going to find that there is tons of companies offering these virtual internship programs for pretty much every field of tech you can imagine. But what exactly is a virtual internship? Well, a virtual internship is basically just a program that's meant to simulate and teach you what it's like to work as a developer in the real world. And how they usually work is you're going to receive a series of tasks that you have to complete as part of the internship program. And then once you complete all of the tasks of that virtual internship, you will then receive a certificate at the end. Now, what makes these programs so incredibly useful is one, they are completely free and available to anyone. And two, massive companies like JP Morgan Chase and EA Games offer these virtual internship programs. So all you have to do is go online, search for these virtual internship programs, actually take the time to complete them. And then once you have your certificate from that internship program, you can then put it on your resume and say you're a software engineering intern at EA Games or JP Morgan Chase. So when you apply for jobs now, you're going to get instant credibility from having an internship at one of these big name companies on your resume. And if you get questioned about this experience in an interview, all you have to do is say that you completed a virtual internship program online and show them the certificate. Now, before I dive into the next strategy that I use to get past this experience paradox, if this all feels super overwhelming and you'd rather have a proven step-by-step -step system on how you can actually break into tech in 2025, that's exactly what I help my students with in my coding bootcamp ASAP front end. I've helped dozens of career changes break into the tech industry, starting from careers like retail, warehouse, finance, education.
education, hospitality. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out the first link in the description. But now right back to the video. So the second really easy way to get past the experience paradox is by freelancing. But when I say freelancing, I don't mean going onto websites like Fiverr or Upwork. Instead, what you'll do is approach absolutely everyone that you know. So that's family, friends, mutuals, etc., and offer to build them a website 100% free. And while you're doing that, you want to search for local businesses in your area on Google Maps and look for the ones that don't have a website and make them the same offer. After doing this for one to two weeks, you're pretty much guaranteed to find at least one person who needs a website. I was personally able to find two clients off the bat and every single one of my students who try this strategy are able to find at least one person within a two week period. And once you've found your person who needs a website, all you need to do is just build it out for them. Repeat this process for one to two more people if you can. And now you can say you're a legitimate freelance developer on your resume and leverage that experience to get you into your first tech role. And the best part is if employers or interviewers try to dig deeper into this experience, you can actually back it up with real proof and real clients. Now, the third and final way to get past the experience paradox is by building your own startup. Now, when people hear the word startup, they get super intimidated and think you have to build something groundbreaking or revolutionary. But your startup doesn't have to be the next open AI or chat GPT. When I say startup, I mean, just spend two to three months building and deploying a really decent project that you think could genuinely be useful to real people. And again, that doesn't have to be anything super complex. It could be a note taking app for university students, a to-do list for busy parents, a simple habit tracker for people who struggle with motivation. It could be anything. The actual project itself honestly doesn't really matter. Most of the work with this strategy is just making the startup look legit enough to actually get you interviews. So most of the work with this strategy is going to go into stuff like getting a really professional logo, making sure the UI and the landing page is really, really modern, setting up LinkedIn pages for the startup, up, setting up social media pages for the startup, buying a professional domain, so a .com, a .io. And then once you've done that and you make the startup look super professional and super real, you can then say you're the founding software engineer at your startup on your resume and leverage that experience to actually get you interviews. Again, it's really important that you actually make this startup look super legit because we want to make it so that when the recruiter or the interviewer searches up your startup's name, it shows up as the first result. And then there's social media pages, LinkedIn pages, a really professional landing page. So that again, the startup looks professional enough to actually get you an interview. Now, if you're struggling to come up with startup ideas, I recommend checking out different startups and side projects that people are building on this website called producthunt.com. And that'll make you realize how simple and basic a lot of the successful startups actually are. Or you can check out winning hackathon projects from top universities like Harvard or MIT if you really want to push yourself and build a more complex startup idea. Those two resources should give you more than enough ideas to get a startup up and running. Now, the best part about all of these strategies that I walked through is they actually give you completely legitimate and real experiences. So if an employer tries to dig deeper into any of these experiences in an interview, you can actually back it up with a real proof. And that makes sure that these experiences not only land you interviews, but land you job offers. And that, my friends, is how you beat the experience paradox and land your first tech job. If you genuinely take action on all the strategies that I walked through in this video, there is pretty much no chance that you do not get hired. Now, if you want to learn more about how to learn to code and break into tech, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I highly recommend you watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now if you want a full guide on everything you need to know to land your first tech job. And also, if you're a career changer and you're interested in getting one on one coaching to transition into the tech industry, in the next three to six months guaranteed, apply to join the coding bootcamp with the first link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.